Mikey, JJ, you've got to trust me on this. The ship is our only chance. The formula is our only hope. We need to infiltrate. Find the flash drive in the captain's quarters. It's crucial for humanity. Mikey, you won't believe what just happened. I met this girl, Emma. She claims there's a zombie apocalypse, and we need to help her get this formula to eliminate the zombies. It's on a ship. We have to go get a flash drive. Zombie apocalypse? Seriously, JJ? That's like a plot from a bad horror movie. But all right, tell me more about Emma and the ship. What's the plan? Emma's got a plan. We're meeting her contact on the way. As for weapons, she's got us covered. I guess we're going to be armed with more than just our charm, Mikey. All right, armed and dangerous. What about you, Emma? Are you coming with us on this daring rescue mission? I promise, Mikey. But right now, let's focus on surviving this zombie onslaught and getting that flash drive. The fate of humanity depends on us. Well, looks like it's just us, JJ. And it's our turn to face the undead. Grabs a camera and paper. I've got an idea. Document our journey. A visual record might come in handy. A photo op during a zombie apocalypse? Seriously, Mikey? Well, why not? It could be a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Takes a deep breath. All right, let's do this. But how are we going to deal with these zombies? We stick to Emma's plan. Move quietly, take them out strategically. Snaps a photo of a zombie approaching. Perfect. JJ, hold up. Spots a dead body near a tank. Looks like another victim. Takes a somber photo. This is evidence, proof of what's happening. We'll need these shots to make the world believe us. Damn, this is getting too real, but you're right, Mikey. Let's document it all. Photo evidence could be crucial for explaining this nightmare. Mikey, this ship is giving me the creeps. And what's with these clown symbols everywhere? Emma didn't mention anything about creepy clown decorations. Yeah, it's like a horror show on top of a horror show. Examines clown blood trail. Look at this, JJ. It's leading us somewhere. Maybe Emma left us a trail. Mikey, let's head to the ship's control room. That's where Emma mentioned the key to the section with the zombie bacteria should be. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Right behind you, JJ. Whispers. These clown decorations are giving me the chills. It's like a haunted circus. Emma could have warned us about this bizarre setup. Mikey, look at this. The captain's dead. This just went from bad to worse. Examines the lifeless captain. We can't help him, can we? No, JJ, he's gone. Takes a deep breath. We got what we came for, the key. Let's make our way back. Emma's got some explaining to do, and we've got a zombie formula to retrieve. No idea, JJ, but we can't dwell on it. We've got a ship full of zombies, a mysterious formula, and a friend to find. Let's get out of here. We need to regroup and figure out our next move. Agreed. Let's get this over with. I can't shake off the feeling that we're being watched. JJ, look at this. Opens the door to the room. What the? It's filled with vials of liquid and one of them has spilled. Notices the spreading substance. This can't be good. Mikey, this looks like the zombie virus. Emma's formula, it's, it's out. Gulps. That's not water under our feet. It's a potential apocalypse. Mikey, look, there it is. Points to a flash drive on a nearby table. That's the one with Emma's formula. Let's grab it and get back on track. Now let's find Emma, figure out how to contain this virus, and maybe get some straight answers. JJ, we've got the flash drive, but this situation is spiraling out of control. We need to find Emma, contain this virus, and figure out what the hell is going on. Absolutely, Mikey. Emma's got some serious explaining to do. Pauses. And did you notice the clown symbols? What's with this eerie circus vibe on the ship? It's like a horror movie set. I can't believe we're in the middle of a potential apocalypse. We need to stay focused on finding Emma and stopping this virus. But what if we can't contain it? What if this formula makes things worse? Emma better have a backup plan. You did it. Takes the flash drive. This formula is invaluable. I can't thank you enough. Well, this is unexpected. Thanks, Emma. But we need more than cash. What's going on? Why the circus theme, the spilled virus, and the dead captain? I owe you both an apology. The virus was an experiment gone wrong. The circus theme was an attempt to hide it. Out of control? We were in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. And what about the formula? You said it could save the world. Is that just another lie? 
No, the formula is real. It can neutralize the virus, but it needs refinement. JJ, let's get out of this city. Slides into the driver's seat of the car. Emma might have left us a mess, but we're not sticking around for the aftermath. We need a fresh start. One eternity later. We're looking for a fantastic house. Something away from the chaos of the city. What do you have to offer? Oh, you're in luck. I've got just the place. A pristine countryside home that's nothing short of spectacular. Surrounded by tranquility. No zombies in sight. That's exactly what we need. Show us around. We want the full tour. It does seem perfect. Let's negotiate a bit and see if we can get a deal. We might even document the whole process for our vlog. Good idea. Let's see how much we can get this dream house for. All right, we're interested. But we'll need a deal that's as good as this house sounds. All right, let's do it. We're sold on the house. Hands over the money. Here's the payment. Excellent choice. You won't regret it. Everything's in order. This house is now officially yours. Here are the house deeds and the keys. Perfect. This is our new beginning. No more zombies, no more mysteries. Just us and this dream house. Takes the keys. Let's make sure everything's as fantastic as promised. JJ, can you believe it? This is our home now. Looks around, smiling. No more worrying about zombies. No more haunted ship adventures. Just us and a peaceful countryside life. Check that out. There's like a sudden rise to the third floor. Do you see what I'm seeing? I didn't expect this building to have more than two floors. Should we go up and investigate? Is that a portal? I mean, it certainly looks like one, but this feels surreal, like something out of a sci-fi movie. I've never seen anything like this outside of fiction. It's like we stumbled upon a hidden realm or something. Do you think we should go through it? JJ, this portal has taken us to a whole new level of eerie. Look around, it's a deserted military town, but these zombies, they're unlike anything we've faced before. Massive mutants with a thirst for anything that moves. Mikey, I've never seen anything like this. These mutants are on a different scale. We need to stay sharp. What's the plan? JJ, grab that ammo crate. We're going to need every round we've got. These mutants don't go down easy. And keep an eye on our six. I've got a bad feeling about this. Got it, Mikey. These mutants are closing in fast. What's the escape route? We can't take them all head on. Well, that was one hell of a showdown, JJ. These mutants may be tougher, but we held our ground. Now let's check out that abandoned house. Might be a good spot to rest. Agreed, Mikey. We need a breather after that. Let's see if there's anything useful in there. Keep your guard up. Who knows what's lurking inside? We always find a way out. And when we do, you'll be the one needing a doctor. Welcome, gentlemen. I see you found yourselves in the midst of my little experiment. Quite impressive, isn't it? Impressive? You call this impressive? What kind of sick mind creates zombies and traps innocent people? Ah, uh, Mikey, isn't it? I must say, your curiosity is commendable. I've always been fascinated by the boundaries of science, pushing the limits of what's possible. Cut the crap, Doc. We're not here for a lecture on your twisted scientific interests. Let us out of these cells, and maybe we'll consider not turning you over to the authorities. Temper, Temper, JJ, you see, I've spent years perfecting my creations. These zombies are a testament to my genius, my contribution to the evolution of mankind. Evolution? More like a descent into madness. What's the end game here, Doc? World domination through a zombie apocalypse. Oh, no, no. You misunderstand. My experiments are about control, power, and understanding the limits of the human psyche. It's all for the betterment of society. Ah, JJ, the time has come for the next phase of my experiment. Your friend Mikey here is the perfect candidate for my advanced zombification process. Over my undead body, Doc. You won't turn Mikey into one of your mindless monsters. I won't let you. I can feel changes. I don't want to become one of those things. Help me. Mikey, Doc, you've pushed us far enough. If you think we'll let you turn Mikey into a zombie without a fight, you're crazier than I thought. A fight? You say? I'd love to see you try. Mikey, no! This can't be happening! I won't let you become a mindless monster! There has to be a way to reverse this! Think, JJ! There has to be something in this mad scientist's lair that can help! A cure! An antidote! Anything! JJ! Mikey! I've been trying to find you! Here, keep these potions! They will help you! What are you talking about? 
We're stuck in this nightmare and Mikey here is changed. Ritual? What kind of craziness is this? And who are you anyway? Mikey, my man, this is the master plan. I'm digging a pit right here to bring back our friend from the abyss. Once he falls in, I'll work my magic and he'll be reborn, a whole new person. Trust me, Mikey, it's foolproof. I've been researching ancient rituals and mystical methods. This pit is the gateway to a new life, a resurrection, if you will. No way, JJ, it actually worked. I thought this was some crazy idea of yours. Failure isn't an option, my friend. Besides, have you seen how deep this hole is? It's practically a portal to another dimension. Our buddy's going to be grateful for this rebirth. Finally back home, that portal adventure drained the life out of me. I feel like a zombie. Told you, my man. Witness the transformation from the supernatural pit. Our friend is now an ordinary human, ready to embrace a normal life. Well, lucky for you, I've got just the remedy for a zombified Mikey. A cup of tea. Come on, let's sit down and relax. Tea sounds like a lifesaver right now. That portal hopping business is no joke. I never want to see another dimension again. JJ, have you seen this? The second floor looks like a mutant zombie convention. What's going on here? Not again. We just moved to this village and it's like the zombie welcome committee is on overtime. What a warm welcome. I was hoping for a peaceful start in our new home, not a mutant invasion. Is this a regular occurrence around here? I have no idea. Maybe we should have done some research before moving. But hey, we can handle it, right? Handle it? Of course we can. But seriously, I just unpacked my stuff. I don't want zombie goo on my new furniture. Look at it this way. It's an unconventional housewarming party. Mutant zombies, the unexpected guests we never invited. JJ, let's take these zombies down and reclaim our space. Grab whatever you can find. We're going on a mutant hunting spree. You got it, Mikey. This is our turf, and those mutants need to learn some manners. We're making progress, JJ. These mutants won't know what hit them. Yeah, Mikey, we make a great team. No, 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 JJ. JJ, I promised we'd face everything together. A few inches later. Hey, JJ, this spa place looks pretty fancy. What do you think we should go for? Yeah, Mikey, I'm excited. Let's check out their services. Oh, here comes the consultant. Hello there. Welcome to our spa. We have a variety of packages available today. We have relaxation, deep tissue, and aromatherapy options. How can I assist you today? Hi. We're interested in something relaxing. What do you recommend? Yeah, we've had a hectic week and just want to unwind. Of course. Our basic relaxation package is $25 and it includes a massage and access to our sauna. Hmm, that deluxe package sounds tempting, but let's keep it simple today. What's the most budget-friendly option? Absolutely, we have a special promotion today for our basic relaxation package at just $4. Yeah, $4 for a spa experience? Count me in, let's go for it. So JJ, ever been to a spa before? No, this is actually my first time. I've heard they're pretty relaxing though. How about you? Oh yeah, been to a few. It's a whole different world. Massages, saunas, all that good stuff. It's like a mini vacation. You know, JJ, I think I'm ready to dive into this spa experience. Absolutely, I'm eager to get started. Lead the way, Mikey. Great, I'll go in first and check if everything's set up. You follow me, all right? Hey, JJ, everything looks good in here. Let's get ready for some relaxation. Wait, what's going on? Why are there two of me? Uh, Mikey, do you see that? There are two of you. What? I didn't sign up for a spa experience with my doppelganger. This is wild, what should we do? Okay, JJ, let's try this again. I'm sure everything will be fine this time. Seriously, now there are four of us? This is getting out of hand. I didn't sign up for a spa day with clones. This is like a weird sci-fi movie. Oh my goodness, what in the world is happening here? Why are there four identical versions of you, Mikey? Guys, I have no idea how this is happening, but it's kind of freaking me out. Mikey, what is going on? Why are there four of you? I wish I knew. This is getting crazier by the minute. Let's talk to the staff again and figure this out. We have no idea. It's as much a mystery to us as it is to you. We just wanted a spa day, not a cloning experiment. We have no idea. It's as much a mystery to us as it is to you. We just wanted a spa day, not a cloning experiment. This is absolutely bizarre. I never thought my spa day would turn into a sci-fi plot. I just wanted a massage, not to star in some weird cloning drama. I can't believe this is happening. 
What are the odds of encountering multiple versions of someone in a spa? I feel like I'm in a parallel universe or something. Is this a prank? Wait, where did they all go? Guys, come back! This is like a weird game of hide and seek. Mikey's, where are you? All right, folks, I've got a situation to handle with my superiors. We can't let them know about this spa day turning into a clowning experiment. Mikey seem to have scattered, and we need to find them discreetly. JJ, can you and the Mikey meet me in the staff room in 10 minutes? Sure thing, but how do we locate them without causing a scene? JJ, we've got to keep this low key. I'll discreetly guide you. Let's use hand signals. If you spot a Mikey, just give me a subtle nod. Well, it looks like I'll have to go alone now to look for my friends. I hope I can do this because mine was divided into four people. And it's very scary because I've never seen four different characters in one body. It looked very scary. And all this is because this spa. You can't come here because it's a closed party. We just don't let anyone in here. You don't deserve to be here. I'm sorry. I hope we can cope with these tasks, since we are trying very hard to be together and not leave each other anywhere, since we are very best friends. I hope we will be together. Where can I find my friend? It looks like he's somewhere here. I can smell him. He's probably the one who's abandoned. I need to go there. It seems like it's true. I definitely need to be careful so as not to suffer at the hands of any bandits, like I almost did now. I hope I succeed to save him. Great. I'm doing well. All that's left is to park it and take it for myself. My friend can gather three more, and in order to unite them into one big one, because now it seems to be feeling very bad, and he needs my help without me, he can't cope and won't. Only I can help him with this situation. I hope he still understands that his life is divided into four parts. Now I'm going to my friend's house. Maybe you are one of his parts are there. I hope that this is so I can contact him to return him to normal. I hope everything works out for me because I really want to see him in a normal state. I miss him. Now I'll ring his doorbell and find out if he's there. He's probably yes, because I haven't seen him here for a long time since there are four parts of him. Probably one of them is here, so I was right. Great. Now you catch me and connect back. I don't want this because I want to live separately from my body. I'm completely kind and I don't want anyone to harm me. You understand that I want to be free. Sorry, but you won't be able to be free because you are my friend. I want to return you to a normal state. Due to the fact that today you were born into four parts, I can't now shoot adventures. Look for new ways to develop the plot, because you and I are in separate mode. Please excuse me, but I don't want to go back to my body. It constrained me and prevented me from moving. I would like to live separately from him, so I don't want to go back again. Forgive me, but I don't see any other choice than this, because I like everything now. Never a choice? I'll do it anyway because I'm your friend and I care about you. You have no other choice to do it, because you're my only friend. Well, there are a few parts left to find. Just two pieces. I'll take his car to get there. Where I need. And probably this car needs to be repaired. Well, what I now have in connection with the mechanic. And I will definitely be able to do it, because I am trying my best to leave my friend. Everything must definitely work out because I think that I am very much for him car and he will thank me for it later. He kept dreaming about his new car in good condition, but now it is in a very sad state. This can't be true. Looks like this car repair part is closed and can't be used right now, but I'm not desperate. I don't want to come back to you because I really love living separately from my body. I'll tell you again. Your second person from my body probably told you the same thing but nothing can be done since I don't give up my words. I'd rather run away from you. I'll still try to do this because I want to surprise my friend before he returns to his normal body. I'd really like to see him. Happy because I really miss him. What are you doing here? Why don't you want to come back? Tell me, please, I miss you. I want to see you happy and you don't want to come back. This can't be. He ran away to a bunch of military men. I guess I can come to an agreement with them now. I'll ask them. Is it possible to go in and pick up your clumsy friend because he invented a place where he doesn't need to go? I'm sorry, but you can't go in here. It's a private area. It's a military base. If you try to get in here, you'll be arrested for 10 years in prison. Okay, I understand you. 
then I will have to take the situation into my own hands. I am very scared because I really want to free my friend. What should I do? Now I will sit and cry here all the time because no one wants to help me. What is this? There is a trash can here. Maybe I will find some kind of weapon there to free my friend from the pendant of these armies. There are a lot of weapons here. I hope that with the help of these weapons I can destroy everyone and move on. I will try very hard so that my car can get to the very end of the army base and save my friend, since it looks like he will be taken away during the experiment. Why don't I want to allow experiments? This is very bad from the outside. If you look at it from here, I don't want to let this happen, because I don't want this friend of mine. I just want to return him to his normal state. I hope that I will succeed because I will try very hard to save my friend. There are two more parts left to collect and everything will be fine. I hope that my friend is safe now. He doesn't understand what to do because his brain ability to think has decreased by a quarter. There are still military people left here but I couldn't do anything to them. Although I still have them, I can destroy them in order to save my friend and imprisonment. Here you are. I'm taking you with me. Now we'll go look for the next part of you. I hope I can do this because I really want you to survive and see the whole truth of what happened. It looks like where I was at the beginning, there is a fourth part of my friend. I hope I can find it. No one will stop me. Now I have a weapon that I found in the trash. I was able to calmly move on without even thinking that I could be defeated. What are you doing here? And I don't want you to take my little friend. I'll take him to the circus. He'll perform there because I decided so. Sorry, but I'll still take him since he's my best friend. I can't leave him. This is the last of the four parts that remain. I hope that my friend will be glad that I collected all his parts and now he can turn back into a full-fledged person. For this, I need go back to the spa again and start going through this procedure again. I hope that the manager who works there will help me and decided to give us this procedure. Looks like you found all of his parts turned around. Personally, then we can start reuniting him back. We just need a little time to prepare the device for the reverse action. I hope that we will succeed. Okay, I'll wait. If this is necessary to save my friend. One eternity later. Here you go. These are the four parts of my friend that I managed to collect. Don't worry and everything will be fine. Go, we can combine the three parts into one, I hope. Great, then I'll begin our process of getting your friend back to normal. I hope that everything will work out for you and you will return, my friend, and you won't get hurt. It seems I have recovered. Well, our little friend has become half his size. It seems history is repeating itself. Thank you for saving me. What should we do now with this consultant who has shrunk in half? I don't want you to see me like this. I'll run away from you so you don't see me like this. He ran away. Nothing. Let's return home. It's no longer our business if you want to save him, then let's go. And if not, let's better ask our viewers. Friends, please write in the comments. Do you want us to have a consultation after this that led us to this incomprehensible spa? I've been very interested for a long time to know your opinion, friends. I will read the comments. One eternity later. Finally, I'm home. What's going on here? Why is he running everywhere? He seems to have run away. He's going to follow us everywhere now. Please tell me. I don't know how to fix this, but it seems like he won't ever leave us. I wish this wouldn't all end, but it looks like it won't end because he doesn't want to get up. And what should we do now? The main thing is don't be upset. We will definitely sew it in the next episode. Now let's go to bed because it's already very late and we need to sleep until the next morning because tomorrow... I can't forget him because I really want to help him. I wish we could help him, but I doubt it. Don't cry, please. Everything will be fine. We will definitely do it, but not now it's too late. Okay, I'll believe you. Day two. It seems someone has come to visit me. I need to check who it is, but I'm currently sitting on the toilet. What should I do? You have such a cool doorbell. I want to ring it again, but I'm really afraid that we won't be able to do this anymore. Ringing in place. What has happened already? Why are you talking like that? Hey, JJ, the weather is fantastic today. How about taking a stroll in the park? 
Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Mikey. I could use some fresh air. Let's do it. Looks like your toilet is broken, but nothing I know where else you can go. But for now, let's go to the park and fish a little. I think we can catch enough fish to get enough of it. Don't worry, everything will be fine. We will cope because I just went to the toilet today, but my stomach will be very bad. I hope I can endure it. Okay then, I will now give you a fishing rod with which you can catch your first fish. But just be careful, because this is a very expensive fishing rod. I don't want you to break it right away. But if you have a ballet stomach, tell me right away, and we'll go together with you, and we will treat you. Yes, no problem. I think that my stomach won't hurt much because I swam a pill before I met you. Everything will be fine. Only I don't know how to fish and I have big problems with this, but I'll try to think of something. I want to go to the toilet for something. I'm probably going to go to the toilet somewhere. Please find me a place in this park. I offer you this place under this tree. I think it will suit you. Don't worry. And I won't tell anyone that you went to the toilet here. Just be careful so that no one notices us because these are public parks. It's generally undesirable to walk here, but our mayor didn't want to put a toilet here. It's okay, I'm not ashamed. Then let's go to the market and buy new pills for me because my stomach hurts very badly. Okay, I don't mind being far away. Look how big it is. I wouldn't want me to see it here. Maybe we'll bury it somehow. Well, what can we do? I can't afford to dig here because this place cannot be spoiled in any way. Okay, I'm not worried. Everything will be fine. Let's go now and swim in the pool and then we'll come back. Everything will be fine. What if the police notice us and then we get caught and maybe even go to jail for this? How do you feel about this? I have nothing to do with this. You did it all. I will deny everything because I don't want to go to prison. Well, I didn't expect this from you. I thought you were my best friend, but it turned out that you betrayed me. No big deal. I hope everything will be fine. Let's go back quickly. I'm already very tired. No, what is this? What is the police? What are they doing here? I don't understand why the police are here. It seems like they'll arrest us. What should we do now? Because you couldn't wait to go home. Stand still, you were suspected of causing public harm to the park. JJ, this is outrageous. I can't believe the police want to blame us for supposedly messing up the park. We need to do something about it, man. Whoa, Mikey, calm down. We can't just go attacking the police. Let's figure out what really happened first. Maybe there's a misunderstanding we can clear up. Why did you attack my partner? She has a weapon. We run from her. They're accusing us of something we didn't do. I can't just stand by and let them ruin our reputation. We need to fight back and set the record straight. This place is designed so that when you want to teleport, you can go into this toilet and jump into it. Then you will teleport to a random place and point. Be careful. I will jump after you. Whoa, JJ, this is crazy. One moment we were at the park, and now we're standing in front of this portal. I'm kind of freaked out. Relax, Mikey. Look around. It's a bit strange, but we're together. I've got a feeling we're in for an adventure. Let's check it out. Here is my family. Let me introduce you to them. They are very good people. Just don't scare them ahead of time, please, because I don't want anyone to be scared. Say hello to him. Hi, I'm your friend's wife, as I understand it. You teleported here through a portal because there's no other way to get here. JJ, we need to ditch the police, and fast! I spotted an open school gate up ahead. Let's head in and find a place to lay low. We can handle this, right? Absolutely, Mikey. Quick thinking. If we're inside the school, we can blend in. Maybe find a classroom or a storage room. We've got this. Let's move. I found that you have no reason to run away. I know that it was you who also attacked a police officer. I'll be here for a long time. JJ, we've got a bolt. That cop is closing in. Head to the private beach. They won't catch us there. Right behind you, Mikey. The private beach is our best bet. If we can get there before they catch up, we'll have a chance to disappear among the crowds. Almost there, JJ. We just need to reach the beachfront. Once we blend in with the sunbathers, we should be in the clear. Keep going, Mikey. We're making it. Once we hit the sand, we'll be like ghosts. No way they can spot us in this crowd. JJ, the police are getting closer, and they're talking about taking us to court, monitoring us for what they think we did. We need to act fast. This is getting serious, Mikey. We can't let them drag us into something we didn't do. So you are caught now. You are not going anywhere. You will go with me to the end. I will now take you to court. JJ, we need an alibi. Something that proves we weren't involved in whatever they're accusing us of. 
Any ideas? One eternity later. Final two are sentenced to 10 years in prison for their crimes. You know what you're being judged for. Your Honor, there must be some mistake. JJ would never do such a thing. This is a misunderstanding. We need a fair chance to prove our innocence. Absolutely, Your Honor. I would never do such a thing. It's a false accusation. Mikey and I were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. The evidence suggests otherwise. Officer, present your case. Your Honor, I swear this is a mistake. We have witnesses who can vouch for us. There's no way JJ would do something like that. Please, Your Honor, we're being falsely accused. We wouldn't disrespect the park or threaten anyone. It's a setup. Your Honor, with all due respect, there must be a mistake. I understand the seriousness of the allegations, but I can assure you that JJ and I would never engage in such behavior. We respect our community and its spaces. Your Honor, this is a misunderstanding. We're willing to cooperate fully, provide any evidence or witness statements to clear our names. We value our reputation, and these accusations are damaging our integrity. The evidence presented and the officer's account have led me to this decision. If you wish to appeal, you have the right to do so. Court adjourned. Your Honor, we understand the importance of upholding the law and preserving the integrity of our community. The court acknowledges your intention to appeal. The legal process will proceed accordingly. Court adjourned. Mikey, JJ, the court has made its decision. And for now, I need you both to come with me. We'll be taking you to the holding facility until the next court hearing. Officer, please, there has to be another way. We're not a flight risk, and we're determined to prove our innocence. Can't we stay under house arrest or something? We'll comply, officer. But please, don't go to jail. JJ, this is insane. How did we end up in this mess? We need to figure out a way to get out of this prison and clear our names. Mikey, I never thought our smuggling operation would attract this much heat. We have to stay low-key until we can find a way to expose the real culprits. JJ, they're taking everything from us. They even found the concealed weapons. I had to hand over the gun during the search. We can't let them keep us locked up like animals. Mikey, we've got to play it smart. Let's gather information from other inmates. Find out who's pulling the strings in this prison. We need allies on the inside. You too, no whispering. Keep it down or face the consequences. Mikey, we have to watch our every move. The guards are on to us. Let's continue this conversation later when we're not being watched. JJ, I can see you through the tiny window. This is messed up, man. We need to come up with a plan to communicate without the guards catching on. Mikey, we're in this together. We'll find a way to beat this rap. Look, I managed to stash a piece of paper. Let's use it for covert communication. Good thinking, JJ. We can pass notes, share information, and coordinate our moves. We need to be one step ahead if we're going to survive this. Mikey, keep an eye on the guards. When they change shifts, that's our window of opportunity. We need to make our move then, but we have to be swift and silent. JJ, I got my hands on a piece. It's our ticket out of here, but we need to be strategic. I'll pass it to you during the yard time. We strike when the guards least expect it. Mikey, we can't afford any mistakes. I'll be ready during yard time. Once I have the weapon, we'll wait for the right moment. We strike hard, fast, and get the hell out of here. We should have a walk soon, and we should be taken outside. When we are on the street, I will definitely give you this weapon. Just please don't forget about it, because if we are caught with him, we will have very big problems, which I don't want. Hey, you two, move it. Your time. Great. And now they look like they're going for a walk and we'll act according to our plan. The main thing is not to worry and not to give yourself away because worries can turn into more complex, incomprehensible processes that we don't need. Better let's get together. Your task is to cut down these two trees. Otherwise, I won't let you go anywhere. Great, but he doesn't know about our plan. Let's go to a secluded place and you will give me a weapon with which I can destroy everyone. While you rest, I will not give you such a difficult task. Because you are too weak for this, I would not want you to get hurt. Well, I know a place where the guards didn't see us, and I think it will be great if you watch to do everything alone. Because I'm really very afraid of this. It looks like he's already left. JJ, here's the piece. Keep it hidden and stay close. When the guards are distracted, we make our move. Stick to the shadows, and we'll be out before they know it. Mikey, trust me. We'll get through this. 
When the chaos starts, we head for the exit. Our freedom is on the line, and I won't let anything stop us. All right, JJ. When the guard turns his back, I'll discreetly hand you the weapon. Stay alert and act casual. We only have one shot at this, and we can't afford any slip-ups. I've got it, Mikey. Let's play it cool until the right moment. Our freedom is within reach. When chaos hits, we strike and make our way out of here. Ready for this, partner? Grimacing in pain, JJ. I've been hit! It's not too bad, but we need to adjust our plan. I can't move as swiftly. Cover me, and let's find a way to get out of here. Mikey, hold on. We'll make it through this. We need to find a safe spot, regroup, and figure out a new strategy. Stay close, and I'll watch your back. Mikey, brace yourself. I'm breaking through the wall, exerting strength to break the wall. Grab onto my shoulder. I'll help you up. We're getting out of here, wounded or not. Got it, JJ. Let's do this. Struggling to stand, I'll lean on you. Just get us out of here, and we'll deal with the aftermath later. Mikey, hold on tight. We're breaking free now. Continues breaking the wall. Almost there. Get ready for a rough landing, my friend. Let's get the hell out of here, JJ. I owe you one. Once we're clear, we regroup and plan our next move. Mikey, the coast looks clear. We need to find a way to a ship. Something that'll take us far away. Got any contacts who can help us disappear? JJ, there's an old contact of mine named Carlos. He owes me a favor. He owns a boat docked not far from here. We can trust him. Let's make our way there and sail out of this mess. Let's get into this boat and sail away faster because 100% the police are already running after us. I hope that we were able to escape and no one else will interfere with this. And we will cope and sail to a new city where we will have a new adventure for our beloved subscribers who they're watching us.